I'm sure you've been hearing the news about the mass exodus that people have been making out of California. In today's video, I want to show you why I left California in 2007 knowing that this would happen and why you should consider moving to have a better chance at reaching success. What's going on guys? It's Uzziah, your success strategist, and in today's video, I wanna give you the top five reasons why moving to a new location might be one of the best decisions you've ever made. You're gonna walk away knowing the secrets behind why big players like Tesla, Oracle, and Joe Rogan are making the jump, what factors you should consider before moving, and how to know if you've moved to the right place. All you need to do is smash that like button so that I could keep making more videos just like this. Now, the first reason I moved out of California was to seek a better opportunity. Now, I got nothing but love for my home state, but I already knew that California was a place that was well established. California has already had its time to shine. You know, LA is the place that you come to where everybody wants to be a star. California had the gold rush. You can't forget about Hollywood. So many other reasons. The truth is, that era of everybody rushing to California has already come and gone. Now it's about the next big thing. See, one key principle to be successful in life is you want to be one of the early adopters when something takes off. Imagine if you could have been one of the early investors when Amazon just got started. You be set for life. Too many people wait until everybody is a part of something, and then that's when they decide to ride the bandwagon. You want to stop doing that because imagine how much potential you're leaving on the table. Think about how much opportunity you're missing out on by waiting for your moment to pass. By the time that everybody has gotten to the opportunity, the opportunity is not as good as it once was. The rewards are there for people that jump in early. So I'll give you an example. In 2014, I bought my first real estate investment property in Austin for $230,000. I was really excited, and at the time, the real estate agent told me I was paying too much. Fast forward to 2021, that exact same property that I bought in 2014 is now valued at over $500,000, all because I bought it before the influx of people that moved to Austin. So that by the time that everybody had gotten here, the market went up drastically because demand was so strong. I got points for being an early adopter to the city of Austin. The second reason that I moved out of California is, you guessed it, the cost of living. Now, when I was living in San Francisco at the time, one of the first tools that I used to make this analysis was a cost of living comparison. I decided to do my homework on what the difference was between the cost of living in Austin, Texas versus the cost of living in San Francisco, California. After using the cost of living calculator, not only did I realize how much cheaper basic expenses were like housing, food, and transportation, I also noticed the difference in salaries. For example, a $50,000 salary in Austin is the equivalent of a $117,000 salary in San Francisco. For me, this meant I would have to work like a dog for a six-figure salary in the Bay Area just to have the same quality of living as somebody in an entry-level position in Austin, Texas. For me, that just didn't make sense. I wanted to be in a growing market that's still affordable that would allow me to stretch every dollar as far as I could. Not to mention, Texas has no state taxes and California gets slammed by state taxes every year. So this was a big win in and of itself. I also want to point out that this was the perfect time for me to move to Austin because had I waited until I was a little bit older, I would have had more responsibilities on my shoulders, having a wife, having a career, having a family, and it would have been harder for me to have the same flexibility as I did when I was young. The older you get, the more responsibility is put on your shoulders. So while you're young, 
you have more wiggle room to take risks, move around, and live a life of flexibility. So don't be afraid to make a move. The third reason I moved out of California was to smash the like button. Just kidding. The third reason I moved out of California was overpopulation. Los Angeles has the worst traffic in the world. You can barely get up the street in 10 minutes flat, much less go throughout the city. And the homeless population has been Bruh. getting out of control for a minute now, and it's only getting worse by the day. You know, growing up in a fast city has its perks, but it also has its anxiety. Lots of noise, lots of busyness, 24 seven. I like living in places that are more spread out, that'll give you more peace and quiet. And even with a thousand people that are moving to Texas every single day, I'm looking into a new place that will give me more peace of mind. The fourth reason I moved out of California was for better travel options. Now, one thing that every Californian will talk about is how beautiful the weather is, how gorgeous the scenery is, the palm trees, the weather, the beautiful women, blah, blah, blah. But the problem is you spend so much money just to get by in California that you never have enough money to go to other places, unless you're digging yourself deeper into debt. Nope. With such a high cost of living in California, there's not a lot of room for disposable income. And it's so crazy because I know people that are living in California right now that are willing to go homeless just to stay there. To me, it's not that serious. In Texas, I'm able to live well beneath my means so that when I feel like up and traveling, I'm able to do so. You know, Austin's a pretty good city. It has a nice nightlife. It has a lot of different attractions. There's always something going on. But another great thing that I like about living in Texas is it makes everywhere travel friendly. So being that I'm right in the middle of the United States, I can take a plane to California. I can take a plane to New York. I can go from the East Coast to the West Coast in a relatively short amount of time versus if I stayed in California and I would have to stay on the plane much longer to get from one side of the country to the other. The fifth reason I moved out of California was for a change of pace. You know, I love California, but I didn't like the life that I was building there. I needed to hit the reset button and start from scratch. I wanted to be around different people, experiencing different things, and in all that has come to me from the time that I've left, I can honestly say that moving out of California was one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life. And since I now live in a place that's so much more affordable, I can always go back and visit whenever I want. So if you're thinking about moving, you should probably ask yourself, can I afford the risk? Do the benefits outweigh the challenges? And are you comfortable being so far from family and friends that you can start fresh with a new slate. So if you wanna know more about moving and deciding when is the right time, check out my free book, The How to Succeed Survival Guide. In this book, I've outlined an entire chapter dedicated to cost of living expenses. All you have to do is go to the link in the description to claim it. So thank you so much for watching this video. As always, I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and smash that like button because smashing the like button will allow my channel to grow. I need your help in getting this message out to more people. So please feel free to subscribe, turn on the notifications, leave me a comment about your plans to move and I'll see you in the next video. Keep pushing.